It's always weird when I make video tutorials on things that I've been doing longer than really YouTube has even been around. This video, we're talking about how to convert WAV files for music and the like to FLAC files and to add metadata tags and cover art and things like that to them because while this used to be a very commonplace kind of thing, it's not anymore and the resources that used to be available aren't as common these days. And I found a very efficient workflow that's super simple, but that I was looking for myself and I just wanted to make a tutorial to pass along to those who might be looking for it. So this all starts with a program called AIMP or AIMP. It's actually a media player itself, a music player, one I've seen recommended quite a lot. It has different add-ons and themes and all of that, but frankly, I'm not gonna be using it as a media player. Link to it will be in the description below. Once you install it, then things get fun because the previous program I was using, VLC and other programs I've used, with VLC specifically, I keep getting files that don't have an end time, uh, which doesn't work for showing progress bars or anything like that. It confuses playback syncing and seeking and things like that. So we're not going with those FLAC files. Those did not turn out great. But this one will do the conversion and the tag editing all in one. That's what AMP will offer. So you select all of the WAV files you want to edit and you can do it in bulk this way. Once you install it, it installed a right click context menu. You go over, convert to other format. Then you choose the format you want to convert to from the description. So you can do anything here. Uh, MP3, AUG Vorbis, you can convert from FLAC to Wave, what have you. We're going from Wave to FLAC, so I select FLAC. And then you can change the sample rate format or channels. I'm leaving that by unchecking those. Uh, it will just detect it from the source. So some of our media clips in the folders that I'm going through uh, are 48 kilohertz instead of 44.1. So I'm just leaving that alone. However, I am dragging the compression slider. I just want the best quality possible. And these days, this kind of encoding runs super quick. So it's not, you know, it's not costing me any performance anyway. I click OK and click Start. It does them all at the same time goes fairly quickly. We'll tell you, you know, how much space you saved from it as well. So we saved 57 megs if you were deleting the WAV files. I'm just going to tell it, don't show again, click OK, and then you can close this portion. Now I'm going to move my specific FLAC files over to my FLAC specific folder here, just so organization's sake. And you can see here we now have an end time for this. However, we don't have metadata or anything like that because WAV files don't really save metadata. So for that, we're going to select all the WAV files. We're going to right click them, ape, and then go to edit tags. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this UI overall. It's kind of clunky or whatever, uh, but effectively we come in here and we can select all and actually edit the artist album, etc. So for artist backing track, I don't have track numbers or anything like that. That doesn't matter. We're in the Morsis album and we can add an album cover, which is conveniently named cover. And then we can click save and that will save to all of those files. So they already have the album cover embedded and the uh, artist and album name. So then we just come in here to individual tracks, look at the file name, edit that. Rinse and repeat for each of our files. And actually it just takes you to the next one. So you can do it kind of in sequence here. Bam, we're done. We can go ahead and close this. We now have FLAC files, album cover, integrated, artists, album artist, title, and time embedded as well. All the tutorials I found online reference like online converters and convoluted ways. And I realize this is an old process at this point, but this was for a new user who doesn't already have a workflow, the most streamlined way to go about it where you don't even have to directly open anything because we can just do it all through the right click menu to open the program. Super handy, IMO. Of course, if you want to check out this music for yourself, we are using Backing Track, which is a royalty-free rock and metal music service that is safe to use in your videos, in your streams, in your podcasts, all that jazz. And we make it available for free. It's available on your favorite streaming services. You can find some of those playlists through BackingTrack.gg. Or if you want to get free downloads, including the FLAC files to play on your stream with cover art and titles and things like that, head on over to Discord.gg slash EvilSox and we provide downloads there. That's it. Super simple. Requires one program. Maybe doesn't need a, pro a tutorial for everyone, but was something that I did not find. The answers that satisfied me from the various blogs and YouTube videos out there that were recommending really shady programs and tools that didn't do it right. Obviously, it would be more ideal if you could just embed ID3 tags within WAVE files and cover art and the like, but alas, WAVE doesn't work that way. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more tag education and stream guides. Remember, be kind. Rewind.